So, what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here. And this is other Ryan here. And today, we once again have another interesting theory for you all. Now, this one is talking about the nightmare animatronics and what they might actually represent truly to the child we play as in Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Yeah, now, I believe a lot of us from the very beginning were very confused on how these animatronics were actually going to fit into the storyline of Five yes. Nights at Freddy's in general. And it just didn't seem right. Like, okay, maybe they got some suits from this place or, you know, they got yeah. some something like that. But we actually yeah, yeah. might think that these suits are a representation of the kids that actually caused the bite of 87. Yes, now, as you all know, hopefully, on night five of Five Nights at Freddy's 4, we can literally see the bite of 87 happening right before our very eyes in the minigame yeah. that we experience at the end of that night. And basically, what happens is that this child is lifted off of his feet unwillingly yeah. and is placed very close to Fredbeth by four teenage people, what we're speculating to be, or at least older people. And they are all wearing the mascot's masks, each of them wearing a Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. Yeah. Now... Then this child gets his frontal lobe presumably removed or some kind of tragic accident along those lines. So it almost seems relevant that these kids would be seen from this child's perspective as nightmares because they actually caused yeah. him to have the bite of 87 and then the kind of imprinted memory of everything would occur from there on. Yeah, and also throughout the game, the mini games, we actually know that this child is f absolutely terrified of this yes. playing hide and seek with his brother. Like in yeah. the first game, we, we can't get out of the room because he's locked you in. He's obviously a very mean big brother. And uh, yeah. in the second game, he jumps out, out of us from the uh, TV and actually flips the burger if you look very carefully. <laughs> yes, he but, does. Um, yeah, the, the, you can tell that this child just doesn't like the establishment at all. He hates being there. So it's a, a quite like another video in itself why he actually is there in the first place before his birthday. But it does make sense why he would see these animatronics the way they are in his nightmares. Absolutely. I mean, without the frontal lobe as well, there's a whole host of things that come with it. And the mind is able to absolutely exaggerate things yeah. beyond belief. And, you know, I think these nightmare animatronics are just that, really. Because, as we said before, these guys really didn't fit in with the storyline before. Everyone was confused if they were real, if they were not real. To this child, perhaps, they are real. And we have to think back, actually, to the trailer. Some of the text that came on screen really confused us. But going back to it now, we can actually make some more sense of it. Yes, so in the trailer, if you remember, it says, what game do you think you are playing? And I don't know, to, to us, it feels like this whole nightmare system is just like a big game of hide and seek. Yeah. And you're trying to hide away and close the doors, make sure they don't see you, because if they do and they see you too close, they literally go absolutely wild on you. So Yes, yeah. and the night absolutely ends. And there's two main characters that when you actually get jump scared by, which almost seems too ironic to be not coincidental, uh, that actually lift you off of your feet very similarly to what happened to this child before with the, yeah. uh, the four older children. And that is, of course, the Freddy Fazbear jump scare we can experience. But more prominently, on night five, we always experience the jump scare where Fredbear picks you off of your feet. Yeah. And then he seems to shout at your face and... Presumably what happens after is the death. Yes, so I mean, it kind of ties in what we're trying to talk about. Basically, you know, if these are a representation of what he is absolutely terrified of, the last thing this person saw before getting his frontal lobe bitten off were these teenagers or kids lifting him up to then get bitten. So it would make sense how he sees these animatronics in their nightmare forms and why they're actually lifting him because he's live, his brain is trying to live out the last kind of memory he has before yes. the event actually happened. Yeah, and you've got to think as well, I mean, these kids seem to torment this poor child every day, it almost seems, doesn't it? Yeah. With Freddy Fazbear-related things, so with that much in mind, and then also the whole nightmare thing, maybe this is the sort of nightmares that this kid was having prior, and then once the whole scenario happened, these nightmares merged with his reality. And there we have it, guys, so hopefully you did enjoy this discussion. This was, of course, talking about the nightmare animatronics and what they may actually represent to the child we play as in Five Nights at Freddy's 4. We do hope you enjoyed the video and be sure to comment down below any of your thoughts on this theory. Yes, and if you did enjoy this video, why not leave a like rating down below? And if you're new to our channel, why not subscribe for more theories like this and also some gameplays as well. So thank you very much for watching the video, guys. And we'll, of course, see you on the next one. Goodbye, guys. Want to see even more content from us? Consider liking and subscribing to ensure you'll see all content in the foreseeable future. And hey, why not check out our past two videos?